Hello. Back down oh, my hole. And um, yesterday I came down, ran four buckets with the McCurk just to see if there was any more gravel in there. And I got some really nice gold. So today I've lugged down the banker. The uh, pump's been sitting down here under a tarp for about oh, seven, eight months. <laughs> but it started first go, so that's good. I'll lug that down. A long time ago, I don't think it's ever going to go back up. So let's hope I'll live here for a long time. But the problem is, I forgot last time I, I broke the valve. So now I've brought everything down, and I've got to walk all the way back up. <laughs> it's 30 degrees today too, you can see it's a beautiful day. To get another one of these. And then I've got to be motivated and 30 something today and nearly 40 tomorrow. You can see the, um, that's the total creek flow there. And we had a bit of rain three days ago too. You see, there's not much left. The trickle was just enough to run that yesterday. But when you get some nice gold, you get a bit of extra motivation. I'm surprised because I thought that bedrock could start sloping up a little bit. There's so much gravel there, so I reckon I was right about that. You know, they've hydraulically sluiced this um, this gully. I reckon they've had a. This could have even might have even been a puddler. So they sluiced everything down, puddled it here. It doesn't make any sense why it's that perfect. But at the very least, they would have had a sluice box just here under those blackberries. I reckon. Because this gully and the next one that comes up behind my house, I'll show you on the way up when I walk up, how deep they are. You can see they sluiced everything out of it. So, I'll walk back up the hill and then um, come back with one of these. This is that gully. You can see she's they sluiced a whole lot out. I don't know whether it shows up how deep that is, so my hole's right just at the base of that where it hits the creek. And this runs right up the top to the paddock that joins under my house. And then you can see through that grass, there's another tree line. That's another gully that actually runs up just near the house. But you can see, um, I hope it shows up on the camera, how deep the gully is. And um, on all the maps, they showed this, these three gullies all had gold. Except I stripped it, every, if there was any wash or anything out of there, they got it all, which is what I'm digging in there. It even looks like there might be a third one just on that hump. So they didn't stuff around. I like got up here, you know, it's probably 30 metres deep, this trench. But I suppose when you let the water do all the work for you, so, I'll head up and get that valve. All right, I'm right in that sluiced out gully now. The steepness never really shows up, but yeah, you can see all down here, right down, and then back up. It's right up the top of the hill here. Maybe, be three, four hundred metres, maybe five hundred metres from top to bottom. It's a hell of a hike, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Especially when you got to do it twice. I'd love to know what they got out of here. There's a lot of old reports further down what they got out of the gullies. There's one about a k from here. They. Got. They pulled out 127 ounce, but a lot, a lot of in the teens, 17s, 19s. That's on the um, the other bank. I've been in there in my deer crevice video. So one day, hopefully, if I get through, I'll bring the detector down, especially down the bottom of that gully. The other one next to the house is even steeper. Yeah, keep going. I cheated and got a lift with the kids back. <laughs> Hi, kids. Hello. I'm gonna go now. All right, bye. Bye, bye. Oh, don't be an idiot.
Josh too far. So she thinks I'm not watching. That cuts out. You can see the house way over there. Cuts out half the trip. So I um they got they didn't have the walkie-talkie on, so they left me stranded. I had to walk all the way to the house to get the bit. Bye! One advantage of teaching your 12-year-old daughter how to drive. <laughs> Cuts out half the trip. Alright, I'll see you when we get back down the creek. Alright. Done the trip back down the hill. Got the old banger. Up and going, pumps running, and we're into some pretty nice gravel. There's actually, I usually just, uh, you can see over there that pole, I usually just throw the clay to, to the side, thinking then I'll run it later. But today I'll run it because it's hot, so it'll be nice to take a bit of extra time and just rub it through. Yeah, the old banger's still going. I'll build one the same as this out of aluminium. Oh, I thought it was a snake, it's just me dog. <laughs> The, um, and I've got some dream mat up there to go in the new one. But, you've got to work with what you got. So, I've got those buckets, we'll run them through, we'll just keep going. If you can hear that clicking, we've got these little trees down here where the, when it gets hot the seed pods explode. Got them up at the house too, they're pretty cool. So, let's see how we go. Yeah. You see there's a, uh, there's a lot of clay. I'm a bit lacking for pressure as well. So I'm just going slow. I'm going to change these spray bars. Eventually. From the new one I suppose I'll... Just have a vertical, horizontal one there. You can see this blue clay. It's got to be a yellow, that yellow on it too from those sandstone dikes. You can see how blue that is. Not very gritty. Lots of quartz. Actually, I pulled um, pulled a. Here we go. I think it's this bit. Yeah, that's it. <coughs> I pulled that out of that hole yesterday. <coughs> you see, it's not water worn at all. It's still super sharp. There's a little crystals in there too. Can't see any sign of gold on it, but this is obviously the old timers. Smashed it out of somewhere. There's a lot of benching up on this hill. And it's so much quicker. So I just ran four buckets in no time. So I'll keep on going. Look, well, most of that clay's gone. If you just sit it there, it's good. You see this bugger all pressure. It's actually a really big pump, but I can't get it to be idle to get, pick up a bit. Typical Chinese rubbish. Might invest in a good one this year. Ah, shit, these March flies. Alright, well, I'll keep going. We'll come back to you a bit later on. Hello. What has been a blink of the eye for you has been four days for me. <laughs> the eye. I ran those first eight buckets, which you would have just saw. Yeah, eight buckets. And then I was filling those. I popped my drink under that bush and jarred me back. So I've been laid up. Two days was real bad. last two days has been getting better. So a bit of an interruption to the holidays. But I knew it's probably pretty good gold. So it's a bit stiff today, but not too bad. So I get back into it. Fill those things. We'll get the high bank again and we'll see how we go. Hey right, mate. Hello. What are you doing, Danny? Um, we were giving, we were giving him a, we were giving Dad a coke. <laughs> a 
gives you a coke. <laughs> and then um, I decided to stay here. Yeah. I went. Do you reckon we got any gold? We have got some. I don't know how many pieces. Here we go. Like, can't see. Lots of pieces. Can see all like here. There's a bit of gold at the start, isn't there, Brains? One, two... Oh, look, there's some more down in there. Oh, three. shit. Oh, we got a lot of gold. Whoa, Brains! How much would that be? <laughs> Hang on, I'll wash it. That's a chunk, mate. Okay. Actually, I think that's on a bit of quartz. Oh. I thought it was gold. It is, but it's on a bit of quartz. Hold it. Hold it over that box. Get in the sun, mate. This way. Oh, I can't see. I hope that shows up. A good one, mate. I know. I will. Any others? Oh, I can see. <laughs> we actually, um, cheese little bit. Oh, yeah, we actually, I puddled through. Shush, mate. Don't do that. It's too loud. I puddled a lot of the um, clay. Yeah. There we go, you see a bit of that side. Look at all that gold, bro. I can see all of it. I pulled another little picker out um, just before Braden with the tongs. That's a cracker, mate. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, so we'll pull it apart and <coughs> so I've done. 27 buckets. No, 24 buckets. Oh, right? I've got to get over that piece. Have you actually done 27 buckets? Yeah, that includes the stuff from the other day. Won't hurt me back. Oh, including the stuff. Let's hope there's a few more of those in there, B Man. I hope so. Alright, so I'll clean it out and we'll get back to you. Alright, take two. Tape one was a failure. <laughs> Why was it a failure? Because I was holding the camera. <laughs> What we do have in here. Look at that, that little specie. Right. Look at all that gold. Yeah, gold on the quartz, bro. Here. <laughs> that's really taxi, he's like gold. That's only about the second specimen, or maybe third, like good specimen I've ever found. And it gives you a good indication of how the gold gets in the creek. What do you got something to do? Not gold on quartz. Gold. Well, don't drop it. Where is it? <gasps> what? You lose it's it? in my hand. I can't get it out. There it is. The there go. Oh, right, we'll come back with the next pan. So I'll show you that um, nice little gem there. Are we back? Yeah, we're back, mate. Oh, we're back. We're back again. Don't usually get gems that. Oh, where'd he go? That big ear? Yes, he's back. Back again. Dan is back. Back again. <laughs> and Raiden. Alright, let's keep going. Well, <clears throat> that's the results of today's dig. Look pretty good, plus. Got that nice picker. And then that little specky. Not showing up very well, is it? You can see the gold on that side of it. And I'm happy with that one. I've got that gem as well. And a little one. It's actually big for you, but it's only a little. That's not bad. Not sure what's worth puddling through that clay. But another week and a half off. So I'll get down there and get into it. Until next time.